many of you are still struggling with the stage versus status that I threw at you. So today we're going to deep dive into why stage versus status, what am I even talking about, how to set it up and how to make the decision which one to go for. everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. So if you are ready to streamline your business to automate your sales and skyrocket your business, you are right in the perfect channel right here. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, give you a new tip or share a new template with you. So let's dive in. Stage versus status. You've been hearing me talk a lot about this because it causes a huge mess in ClickUp if done wrong. And today I really want to deep dive into what does stage versus status mean? What is each? When do you use each and how do you set them up? So let's start with a little bit of admin stuff. You have heard statuses before, so let's go over to my ClickUp, show you some statuses and show you how to set those up. In this specific one, you see my marketing space. Talked about this before, you can go grab the uh, template in the other video and watch the whole setup of how we have built this right there. So I'm not gonna dive into this. But on that space status, we can go into space settings and go into space settings right there and look at our task statuses. This will trickle down into all of your folders, into all of your lists. When you add something new, it's going to ask you, hey, you want to keep the space statuses? And you just say, yes. As you can see, we've played around with a lot of statuses. And in this case, we ended up with literally just in process, proof and done because that's all what you need in here. Now, other times I often recommend the to do, which means all of the tasks that are coming up that are going to have to be taken care of. It's just a collection of all the stuff in process means we're working on it. Then waiting internal is another common status for us, which means we're waiting on a team member to finish something or an internal decision or something internally. Waiting external, meaning we're waiting for a client. We are waiting for login information. We're waiting for a decision, something. We're waiting on something external. Then we have the proof, sometimes the finalize as well as complete. Now, why is this important? We'll get to that once we come to the reporting. Let's dive into the custom stages first. Custom stages is a custom field that allows you to distinguish this specific task in a stage it's in or in a phase it's in. Now, how do we do this? You build your list, you can literally just go right there, add a column and add a new drop down menu and set the stages as you want to. If you already have a stage set up and you can't find them over here anywhere, it's like, okay, I know it's not there, but I know it exists. Go over into the create a new field and go into existing fields on the bottom. By the way, click up. Can we move this up? It's so hidden in there. Nobody ever knows that. And this is where you can find it. You even can search for it. So when we say um, we do have a YouTube as a long area. Actually, no, we don't. Did I write that out? Looks like I might have written it out. Hmm. No, because it's already in the list. That's why it's not going to show up. Ha! That easy. It's already there. But this is how you can find a custom field that you know exists, but you just don't see it. Now let's deep dive into how do we decide what's the status and what's a stage. Actually, no, I'm going to trick you. Why do we care? Why do you need to make a distinction between status and stage? There is a simple explanation right here. If you go into your box view, and this is a fairly clean one, this is how you want it to have it, where you easily can see, okay, Billy's got four tasks to do and eight are complete. Kitty has one in process. This is why we want simple statuses that work throughout, because the moment we go into our everything view and you are trying to get a big picture of the whole company and we go into box view, 
and you do what I've done in the past, you suddenly gonna have a list of statuses that is overwhelming. Nobody's gonna look at it. Nobody's gonna do anything with it. This is just a mess. And this is the reason why we need statuses and stages. And now that you know that, we're gonna dive into how to make this decision. A status is active. It means it's it's a doing, it's a verb. We are doing something, meaning we are working on the task in process, meaning we are waiting on the client. We are doing something. That is a status. Now, if you go into stages, that literally is a phase your task is in. Now, on the example of our marketing space, it's easy to see on this one because as you know, I start with a YouTube video, it becomes a blog, and then it goes into social media and the newsletter. That's, that's a phase, that's a stage this task is going through. So, hey Evie, you need to record your video. Cool, that's one stage. Hey YouTube guy, you need to edit the video. That's one stage. The publishing on YouTube is another stage. The publishing on the blog is another stage. And in our case, they work really nicely one after each other. If you are a web development company, you got the onboarding, meaning asking all the questions, getting all the content, the whole preparation for the website. You got the development, you got the testing phase, and you got the release phase when you are pushing everything out. If you are a YouTube editor, you got the idea phase where you are helping your client come up with the idea. You got the record phase, meaning client is working on it, which also then feeds into the status of waiting externally. You got the finalized and proof and the tweaking phase, and then you got the delivery phase. So with this, it will make your reporting way easier. It will look less overwhelming. And again, as I told you in another video, stop using ClickUp like you use Trello. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't make sense. And in the long haul, you're gonna have a mess of a ClickUp space, just like me when I'm testing everything and now I need to clean it up. Anybody got an additional 24 hours for me to do this? <laughs> you don't want to be in that situation. Go, use statuses and stages in combination, team it up with a custom list like I told you in the last video, and you are set. If you watched this long and you still haven't subscribed, then hit the bell. What are you doing? Go hit the button. <laughs>